Hey, what's going on everybody? JP here with Wanda to Get Lost and in today's RV maintenance video, we're changing out spark plugs and adding new ignition coils by Excel. So stick around, let's tackle this project together because it may be a doozy. It could be this simple forever. Today is going to be a big uh, RV maintenance project for our engine. I'm going to be changing out all 10 spark plugs and 10 ignition coils. The reason why I'm doing this is our RV is at 126,000 miles and I have no idea if any of the two previous owners ever did spark plugs on this engine. And with all the projects I try to I tackle, I try to do as much research as possible. And when you look up Ford three valve engine spark bug removal there are threads and videos galore the reason why is because Ford just screwed up the whole spark plug system on this for two reasons um, the spark plugs that are in here if they're original there's the potential for them to crack and snap off when you take them out which is a big issue and then the other issue is when you put the spark plugs back in there's not a lot of threads in the in the heads of the engine um, for the spark plugs to grab so if you don't torque them down tight enough they could blow out so these are things that I learned when uh, doing all my research on this uh, luckily I found a couple of good articles and um, a really good YouTube channel uh, it's a guy I've been watching and seeing how he does all the removals it's uh, Ford Tech Macaluco um, so he goes through how to remove spark plugs and if you do snap one off like what kits to use and uh, how to do the extraction and then the retapping so went through all that but hopefully we will have some luck and get all 10 spark plugs out with no issue today the other thing I'm doing is I'm adding new ignition coils and the reason why I'm doing that is these are obviously the original ignition coils and I added the engine tuner from banks onto this engine and I really want um, a new coil on all the spark plugs just because they, this is made to work uh, with enhanced engine tuning you get 15% more energy than the stock so everything that I've read on these super coils say you will notice engine performance increase right from the get-go so I got this on Amazon this from the dealer I will link to the Excels um, the Motocraft when I went to my Ford dealer he actually matched the price on Amazon which I really liked because then I didn't have to worry about possibly getting uh, imitation spark plugs which are out there so just be careful where you get your spark plugs from all right so before we get into doing the spark plugs a couple of things the removal method I'm going to be using is what uh, this tech uh, recommends it's the hot method so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start your engine run it for 10 to 15 minutes let everything warm up then immediately pull off the coils and try to zip out each spark plug using an impact hammer so uh, I have my impact hammer and so that is the method so what we're gonna have to do is run the engine for a little while before I do that I'm going to blow out all the debris that's around the coils as much as possible I'm going to remove the seven millimeter coil bolt that holds the coil to the engine block. I'm gonna remove those, leave the coil on, run the engine. And then after we do that, I'll be able to pull the coils on each of them and then try and go spark plug by spark plug. There's five obviously on the driver's side, five on the passenger side. We're gonna do the driver's side first, try and get all five out. One other step, as we pull off the coil, we're gonna blow around all the spark plugs and get any other residual debris that we don't want dropping into the, uh, into the engine. Um, yeah, so the other thing I picked up, this is a uh, Ford spark plug adapter. It's 9 16 inch. It's got a special grip inside that holds the spark plug 
and it's a 3 8 inch ratchet so when you when you seat the spark plug in this it's actually you got to make sure it lines up seats in there and you see it holds in there the other thing we're gonna have to do is put a little um, anti-seize on the threads and then when we torque it down everybody's been saying to torque it down to 20 to 24 foot pounds so they don't blow out all right so let's blow out the engine and then we're gonna run the uh, the RV for a little bit and then we'll get to uh, unzipping these spark plugs all right here we go All right, so I don't know if you can see just quickly, these are the coils right here. This is here, here, here. Driver's side looks like shouldn't have any issues getting any of them. It looks like I have plenty of space. And then um, there's the seven millimeter uh, bolt that holds the coil down. So I'm gonna go right now, I'm gonna unzip all of those, take that out, leave the coils on, then we're gonna run the engine for 15 minutes. All right, so I'm just gonna put the cover back on and close it up. Just don't forget also is that once we start pulling the coils off, you do have to disconnect the wires to the coils. So the big thing is just being careful because this engine's gonna be hot. All right. All right, so we're done running. I would let it run for 20 minutes. Now we just gotta go through, disconnect the coils. Start doing that work. Three coils. Hopefully this works. I'm open. Oh, we got one. Holy cow. Look at that. Two. Three. All right, look at that. Five for five. And just Look at the spark plugs. No, uh, the I guess I'm not sure what that's called, but it's not there on this one. Here it is. So a bunch of these had these snapped off. So look at this, and look at the gap. I'll show a comparison to a new spark plug. What's Daddy doing? I don't know. We're gonna get off the RV Uh -huh. all 10. What? What? All right, everybody. So I am super stoked. I got all 10 uh, spark plugs out. Let me show you uh, one of the new ones compared to the 10 that were in here. And these have to be original and why our engine has sounded and been performing like crap uh, for probably a while. So. Here are the old spark plugs. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them are all broken. This is a new one. You can see the, the gap difference. Just look at that. 
it's crazy so yeah probably should have done this as soon as we got probably should have done this as soon as I got the RV but well, we've only put 15,000 on it um, yeah but super stoked that I got all 10 plugs out now we're gonna put the new 10 plugs in with the coils huge relief um, the hot method worked at least for me and I used this little uh, stubby impact hammer from Ryobi it uh, has 220 uh, foot-pounds of braking power so I think Ford labels these as like uh, 10 to 12 foot-pounds of torque and everybody is saying to put 20 to 24 foot-pounds so that's what we're gonna do so um, I'm gonna take the spark plug we're gonna put a little uh, anti-seize right here set them in by hand and then we'll torque them down all right all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm put I'm pre-setting it inside the uh, socket holder. I'll put a little uh, anti-seize that way I don't get it anywhere near the uh, porcelain, and then uh, I'll set it in. I'll start it by hand, and then we'll torque it down. Got my torque wrench. I'll show you one, and then I'll do the rest and uh, show you when it's all done. in there and we'll torque it down all right that's one uh, I'm gonna go around and do all 10 and be super careful. <laughs> all 10 spark plugs are back in. Let's take a look. So uh, there. This is the passenger side. Sorry, glare. This one is still the hardest one to get to, even when putting it in. But here's the driver's side. You can see. All right, so now we're going to replace our coils. Um, so it's basically doing the exact opposite. The only thing I'm going to do is um, the Ford Tech that I watch. Uh, is that grease? Oh, geez. <laughs> um, advise to put some dielectric compound inside the uh, boot of the uh, ignition coil. So I'm going to do that on all the ignition coils. We'll pop them on and screw them back down and then uh, we're good to test fire this baby back up. All right, let's go to work. All right, so we're just going to dab a little bit on here. Good, I guess. <laughs> I've never done it before, but what are you going to... All right, so now we just got to make sure you orientate it to the exact way that you took it out. Just gotta, I guess, pop it back on. I guess that's it right there. Like so. And then the big thing is making sure you connect. Uh, the ignition coil uh, connectors that you disconnected make sure you connect them to the correct ones uh, so one two three 
Uh, this is four and five is back there. All right, so all right, we're gonna put our screw. back on all right we're good that's number one all right so I'm gonna go through do all ten show you when it's done oh yeah look at that ten new coils or five new coils on the driver's side one two three four five driver's side all done all right so that went pretty easy I'm just gonna finish up the uh, passenger side then we're gonna just We'll fire it back up, see how it sounds. It should sound a lot better, uh, except for the fact that our manifolds are leaking. <laughs> um, so that's the next project after this project. But uh, it should sound a lot better, and this is definitely going to help our gas mount. All right, passenger side is all done. So we got all five coils back on and connected. So we're good. All right, I'm done. It is uh, 2 o'clock, so about two hours for this whole project. Um, yeah, so let's fire it up, and then uh, hopefully everything sounds good. We don't have any uh, problems, and uh, i got to put the engine cover back on. And then we'll do a little recap on everything that happened. All right. All right, everybody, so that is it. I did it <laughs> I gotta say I've never done spark plugs before on any of my vehicles uh, this is the first time I've tackled the spark plug project and one of which kind of put a lot of fear into me because of all the problems that I've read with this engine um, take a look at this spark plug and how worn out it is check out the gap the porcelain is like black and it's completely cracked so, um, let me say that the method that I talked about in the beginning, the hot method where you let the engine run for 20 minutes and then do the extraction worked using the uh, impact hammer, the Ryobi that I have, that worked and having this small one let me get it into the tight spots of the engine except for the front one on the passenger side. So that one I had, I was able to wiggle it in there um, and get it but for the most part I had to use hand tools up there the other thing I will say is that there's been talk about a lot of these spark plugs corroding into uh, the header and I will say that I treat our uh, fuel pretty much every fill up I'm always putting in like a, a cleaner to help the engine burn the fuel better and not leave as much deposits on everything and I think that might have helped. I've also read where guys are putting uh, sea foam into the engine tank and running that through to try and clean the spark plugs and get rid of any carbon deposits they may lock these up. So that's up to you but um, yeah this worked so uh, less than two hours for the whole project uh, 10 spark plugs um, I think I paid 15 bucks a spark plug at the Ford dealer, so that was 150 bucks plus uh, local tax. Uh, I will link to the uh, Mopar number or the Motocraft uh, part number. I think it's SP546-X. That's the one here, and then the super coil I got was by Excel. And this works for our Ford, the, uh, let's see. Yes, yeah, so we have the three valve 6.8 liter. So yeah. All right, so that's it for this project. We're all done. The only thing that I have left to do now is to tackle the manifold issue with the broken off studs 
and um, yeah so we're just waiting for I'm just waiting for a few more parts to come in and then we'll be tackling that project but all in all this project is a success I'm so happy it's all done hopefully this helps with our fuel mileage with better spark plugs and the, uh, the ignition coils all right if you have any questions leave a comment down below I will link to all the products that I used in this video and I will also link to um, Ford Tech Macaluco so you can watch all his videos depending on what kind of uh, Ford engine you might have. Alright, thanks for watching this video if you liked it and if it helped you out uh, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our family adventures. Yeah, hopefully we'll be on the road soon, a few more projects. Alright, thanks for watching everybody, stay lost.